Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. In this session, we are going to talk about test mandates, which is part of the execution section, and it is only present uh, in a multi user workspace. Now, we'll also try to understand why do we need test mandates and what is the importance of a test mandate. So, there will be scenarios when you are working in a multi user environment. Uh, where multiple users need to execute the same execution list which has been created and they should be able to execute it simultaneously also without overwriting each other's results. Now this will be a problem uh, if multiple users are just using the same execution list then uh, they will be overwriting each other's results. So in order to avoid this problem Tosca provides you with another option which is known as test mandate. It can be created in the execution section um, and then it can be linked to a particular test object which could be a execution entry a execution a list or a execution folder so any of these objects can be linked to a test mandate so by using a test mandate then uh, multiple users can run their execution simultaneously without overwriting any results so let's see um, how we can use this and uh, how it can be linked to different test objects and then um, how should you look at the results when it is linked to a particular test mandate so here in the execution list folder we can create a test mandate so let's go out and check out this whole tree and then um, we'll be using this login test to link it to a test mandate and then uh, we'll go ahead and execute it so inside the execution list folder when you right click you will find there is an option called create test mandate so click on that and this is our test mandate so we'll say login mandate okay and then uh, in order to link any particular object to a mandate you just need to drag and drop it into the mandate uh, what tosca will do it will create a copy of your execution uh, list okay as a folder here as you can see and then it will contain the test case also uh, in the execution list you will see that uh, on the log there will be a blue arrow okay uh, which will tell you that this is linked to a particular uh, mandate test mandate okay now using this test mandate multiple users can execute this test mandate without even checking out the actual execution list so they don't need to execute the execution list but instead they will be executing this login mandate which will in turn give you the results back in the test object which is the execution list right so finally what will happen is once everybody is done their executions and the results are checked in then um, all the results will be collated together and displayed in the test mandate so now uh, if i go ahead and check in all right and now you can see this is our login mandate which contains the login execution so we can go ahead and check out this now i can go ahead and run this test mandate okay without even uh, checking out the login test which is the execution list so let's go ahead and run this So once uh, the execution is completed, uh, you will see whether it has passed or failed, right? And then uh, you can also go to your execution list and uh, let me first check in all. And then here you will see that the latest execution is linked to the test mandate. Okay, so the results of the test mandate is also shown here, okay, in the execution list. So without even executing the execution list, uh, by executing the test mandate, you got the results back here. So if multiple users are going to execute the test mandate, it is never going to rewrite the results. It, it will collate all the results and store it in the execution list. Also, if you go to the execution uh, list and if you want to go to your test mandate entry, then from the logs itself, you can jump to the test mandate entry there is an option here okay so click on that and uh, it will take you to the test mandate entry now 
if finally if you don't want uh, to keep the link between your test execution list and the test mandate then you can even remove that link so uh, go to your execution list and then check this out and then uh, right click on the actual log and there you will find there is a clear auto merge list okay so when you click on the clear auto merge list it will uh, clear out the link between the test mandate and the execution list so you will see now that uh, the latest uh, execution log is no more linked to the test mandate okay so the link has been taken off so now the test mandate result will not be shown here okay so this is how uh, you can use the test mandate uh, in a multi-user environment where multiple users can execute the test mandate without overwriting any results and then you can collate all your results in the execution list without even checking out the execution list or without even executing it you just need to link the execution list to your test mandate that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video